One of the most popular tech trends lately is true wireless earbuds. And especially right now when we're all pretty much stuck inside, they are a great way to give yourself some privacy, whether you're working out, watching Instagram videos, listening to music, whatever the case may be. These are the two best true wireless earbuds, at least in my opinion, the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus and the Jabra Elite 75Ts. Both are pretty similar in design and concept, but they each have their own ups and downs. I think for most people, the Elite 75Ts are gonna be the better overall buy, but let's go into some of the differences, what makes these unique and why you might pick one over the other. Let's start off with the Galaxy Buds Plus. These come in this round, glossy casing. Uh, the earbuds look more or less identical to last year's original Galaxy Buds, but these are a bit more comfortable in my ears and they sound a lot better when you're listening to music. One of the biggest upgrades over last year's model is the battery life. The original Galaxy Buds lasted about three hours per charge. The Buds Plus can get all the way up to 11 hours and the charging case gets you an additional 11 hours so you can really get almost a full day of continuous playback. They also recharge super quickly over USB-C. You can get a full hour of playback with just three minutes on the charger on the Buds Plus or if you prefer, you can charge them wirelessly with Qi. Now the Jabra's don't charge quite as quickly. It'll take about 15 minutes to get that same hour of playback, but they still charge over USB-C or Qi, which is great. And the case is a little different. You get this flat design instead of the rounded sort of pill shape on the Buds Plus. And Jabra makes use of much, much stronger magnets. You can't shake these out at all. Uh, it's pretty great. The 75Ts don't last quite as long on their own as the Buds Plus with about seven and a half hours of playback, but with the charging case, you can land all the way up to 28 hours of continuous playback, which is pretty remarkable. The biggest difference on the Elite 75Ts themselves is the way that you control them. See, the Galaxy Buds Plus have a touch sensitive gesture pad on each earbud that lets you tap, double tap, swipe in any direction to control various parts like play, pause, skip, and so on. With the 75Ts, there's actually a physical button on each earbud that you press to do the same kind of controls. The upside is that you don't have any accidental touch input on the 75Ts, which is a pretty annoying issue for me on the Buds Plus. But the drawback is that when you press a button on an earbud that's physically seated in your ear, you can absolutely feel and hear that button movement. It's not my favorite thing in the world. I wouldn't call it a deal breaker by any means, but I definitely prefer the touch input on the Galaxy Buds Plus. As far as audio quality goes for each of these sets of earbuds, I think both are good for different types of music. For most people, you're probably gonna like the 75Ts better, but when you're listening to genres like modern metal, where the China symbol on the drum kit tends to be pretty prominent, I think the Jabra's can get a little tinny and harsh. The Buds Plus do a better job of rounding out that high end. For most types of music though, again, I definitely do think the 75Ts are a bit nicer. Now, one of the biggest advantages of the 75Ts is their ability to pair to more than one device at once. Right now, I've got these connected to both my Galaxy S20 Plus and my laptop over there. With the Galaxy Buds Plus, it's easy to switch between devices in your Bluetooth settings, but you can't stay connected to both at the same time. The Elite 75Ts are also IP55 water resistant, which is great if you're a runner who tends to sweat a lot, or even if you just happen to get caught in the rain while you're listening to music. Samsung doesn't give an official IP rating for the Galaxy Buds Plus. If I'm being totally honest, I have dropped these in water. They've been fine, but when there's no official rating, you don't really wanna press your luck. So let's talk about one more difference and that's price. This is probably gonna be your biggest differentiator. Uh, the Jabra's I do think are a better product overall, but they're also more expensive. These are 180 retail, the Galaxy Buds Plus are only 150. That $30 may not be a huge deal to you if you like enough of the features of the Jabra's better, but I've been perfectly happy with the Buds Plus. So it's really just gonna come down to what you personally like better. It's hard to call one the objective winner here. But of course, if neither of these options appeal to you, there's plenty of other options from companies like Anchor, Sony, Sennheiser, and yes, even Apple with the ear pods. The Elite 75Ts and Galaxy Buds Plus are the only earbuds that I have a lot of personal experience with, but we've reviewed plenty of other models over at Android Central. Some of the most popular earbuds we've covered are the WF-1000 XM3s from Sony, Sennheiser has a great new set of Momentum earbuds, and Jaybird, who's long been a staple for workout earbuds, has a new set of true wireless ones called the Vistas as well. I'll link down below to our full roundup of true wireless earbuds, but let me know what you like best between the Galaxy Buds Plus and the Elite 75Ts, or if there's a different set of earbuds that has your eyes and ears. You can also watch Mr. Mobile's video on true wireless earbuds for even more great choices. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.
Stay safe.